Hey guys, ViscoseComb24 here, bringing you a real quick redstone video. Um, and today, I'm going to be doing the best I can to explain my piston extender algorithm. Um, so as you can see, I've done quite a handful of extenders. This isn't even like all of them. Um, I have like a lot more in other worlds. But they all use basically the same algorithm, which in theory would allow you to build something like this which is pretty much just the definition of insanity, um, and go even further, all the way up to the height limit, even. Um, so, pretty much, this is just, this is just, like, the most obscene example I can give of my piston st extender algorithm working. There we go. Let's see if I can actually flick that lever. Um, and if it, if I just, you know, just give it a little bit, you'll see that the entire thing will push up and then all of these things will start to power one after the other all the way right down to the bottom and so basically the way this thing works is and like the whole idea behind it is that you can take an observer output for every line of redstone so I'm just going to do a four piston extender because this was this is a good example of it um, so the way that a piston extender would normally work is, you know, you'd have your extension algorithm, which in this case, right here, is the torch towers, sending in multiple pulses. Um, but I'm just going to use levers to sort of simulate that. Um, and as you can see, all extends, very nice. And then you have to have your retraction algorithm. But the retraction is usually a bit more difficult, because if you just, you know, power them from top to bottom, which is a good first step, um, depower them from top to bottom, you can see that it'll it'll only get to here. And um the the what the like idea but um that I use is that you can sort of have the redstone run in like this. So starting at the top, the top usually being two ticks, um you have two tick repeater, four tick repeater, four ticks and two ticks, four ticks, four ticks, and etc. You get the idea. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. You know your times twos tables, times two tables. And so this right here would normally act as the retraction, like the first basic retraction. Just having all of these extend, um, all these extended pistons retract from top to bottom. So, like, if I just really quickly power these all again and turn this on, you'll see like that. Break all those levers there. Flick that. You'll see what goes one, two, three, four. Boom, 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 boom. And what I do is I then change things up a bit. So I have an observer right in there, there, and there. And so I, I did it a bit out of order, so it's going to look like it's actually being counterproductive. But if you then break out these blocks here, and then have observers facing up above the line below them, um, just like so, as you can see, they are all facing up above the redstone lines that would be below them. And then, of course, I have to replace everything. But if I just if I have that, I'm just going to quickly build in a torch tower here to make the extending a bit easier. Um, so, put in the real quick extension bit. Um, you can see that, if I flick this lever right here, it'll all extend, very nice. Flick this lever, and the retraction, like, algorithm thing will be booted up. Flick that lever just to turn off the torch tower, and flick this lever, you'll see, look at that. It does one, two, three, four, one, two, three, meaning that you get in basically what is just a double piston extension on all of these pistons. So this is a good way of put, um, showing you. If I just remove that, you'll see that's a double piston retraction right there. And if I put in the rest of these pistons, have them be extended up, but then break that, you'll see that the exact same thing happens up top. So if I just quickly turn off this lever, Yep, another double piston retraction. But the like the the way the reason that it'll all retract is because every piston is in. 
So when this piston turns off, it'll be pulled down by this piston and then activated by that observer. And at the same time, this piston will be pulled down and then activated by that observer again after that one's been activated. And it's, it's really, I'm making it sound complicated, but it's really not. And so, yeah. Um, the way that I think of it is that this whole algorithm sort of just runs off of double piston retractions. Um, and that it kind of does. That's kind of just how it works. Yep, double piston retractions for each of these pistons. But now you're thinking, hey, how, how would I do that? Uh, how would I get that final bit, that final pi these final two pistons done? Well, as you can see here, it's just another double piston retraction that is required. So what I do is I use this nifty little thing where you can put down a slab and redstone wire. So because um, of how redstone works with uh, glass and slabs on Bedrock Edition, you can actually set up my piston algorithm. It only works on Bedrock Edition. So on Java Edition, um, you can, well, I mean, for both versions, you can see that if I power down here, excuse me, sorry, I accidentally knocked over some garbage. Um, see, redstone can go up the slab, but it cannot go down the slab. On Java Edition, the glass acts the same as the slab in that the redstone dust can't go down, but on Bedrock Edition, it acts as a block, like a transparent block, that redstone can go down. So you can see, redstone can go down it and up it. And so because of that, I have a slab here and then glass there, and what I do is, uh, so you'll see, have the extension, set up the retraction circuit, turn off the extension, turn off the retraction, it'll get to there, but if I send an input in here, you'll see that the double piston extension required for these pistons right here is activated, but the bottom isn't. So this piston won't be powered whatsoever, um, meaning that you can sort of select in a way, which pistons can be powered. It's quite limited, but that's it allows you to select it in in a sense. So if I really quickly get out a repeater and then an observer, and I just put that right there, you'll see that that is giving an input into our second double piston retraction. So, oop, forgot, gonna need to uh, actually do that. All right, so gonna have to do the extension, thin the retraction, turn off. All right, now if I do this, you'll see the double, the second double piston extension is already handled by this, and so this is a very very small scale, and because of how it has like the two double piston retractions already built in, it's a good example of how it works. I hope that this is coherent. <laughs> I really genuinely do hope that this is coherent, but um, now that you've seen that that is how that works. You know, you send in the second pulse using observers and repeaters. That is how you get to this. So this right here is basically an extreme version of that. You can already see the similarities. Um, you can see that the torch towers right here act as the extension. There's this one torch tower, um, and because of the push limit, I've had to do some weird stuff down here with multiple pulses. That stuff isn't needed for the smaller extenders, but it, it's, it is here, so that's just, that's the thing. Um, but if I go over here, you'll see that it's all pretty much the same. Um, starting at the top um, and going down, you can see that every, um, every like, redstone line that is below the one above it, you know, okay, that, that sounds really redundant, but you know, like, ev like, once you go down a redstone line, it gets four, not four, two ticks more than the previous ones. And I've had to do some weird timing bits because of these things, um, adding in a bit more delay. But it's all basically the same. You can see three, four tick repeaters and one tick, three, four tick repeaters and three ticks, four, four, four tick repeaters and one tick, four, four tick repeaters and three ticks. And it just, it goes all the way down to the bottom. And this right here handles all the different double piston retractions that you would need to get this thing working. So if you go down here, you can actually see that there's about amount, there's about half of the um, like amount of pistons as there are double, there are d about half of the double piston retraction inputs as there are pistons because, well, obviously you only need to have 
two um you only need to have like 16 double piston retractions for a 32 piston extender um it's just math so as you can see right here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And the reason there's only 15 is because the initial retraction already has the double piston extension, I mean, not double piston extension, double piston retraction taken care of with these observers right here going off anyways. So if I quickly flick the lever, it's all going to be very, very fast paced um, once it gets um, started. If I quickly go up to the top here, There you go. You can see that it's really just, it's a bunch of double piston retractions being sent through a bunch of times. Um, it's really, really difficult to see that, but um, it, ah, I'm really trying. Um, it's, it's so odd to have to explain. But you saw like right there, there was a double piston retraction right there. And it's, it, it's, yeah, it, it's best it's best shown on the smaller scales, and then you can see how it translates into the bigger scales. Um, and pretty much, I um, because of the way that this thing works, you can basically have an infinite amount of pistons in your extender, and it'll all be one wide because you just have to send in these pulses at the back here. So um, in theory, if uh, if you wanted to be like a complete and utter madman you could go all the way up to like a 128 piston extender and it'd still be pretty small. Um, it'd be expandable one way, but because of the height limit, you can only really go up to around about 127 um, to make it one wide, and even then that'd be pushing it. <laughs> it's just about it for this video. I'm ViscoseComb24 and I'll see you next time. Hey, copper. Fuck. See y'all next time, bye.